just a quick note. This video was shot in uh, late May and now it's early August, so I'm super duper late in editing it. Uh, my excuse is that I moved from Edinburgh to Nottingham, so in a video I'm going to shoot probably next week, I want to explain you everything, but just for making you clear when I speak about things that happened like two months ago and you are saying, what? Why? Yeah, that's the reason. So I'm sorry for my delay. I still hope that this video can be useful for you. And I hope that if you have any question, you can uh, write me in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. Let's see the video. Hi there. Um, so you know that I'm not a blogger, uh, a vlogger actually, but uh, I decided I wanted to try to do this kind of series where I speak about uh, currently things. I mean, there is a lot of uh, like favorite things of the month video. Uh, I want to do something more uh, about different things, not just products. So what I'm thinking is referring to the project life or scrapbooking idea of current retards. So uh, my category are going to be for this video, especially uh, shopping, because it's a verb, I love the fact that it's actually a verb. <laughs> um, reading, studying, working, loving and scrapbooking. So these are the main themes that I'm going to cover. Uh, I would love if you have other topic or main categories that you want me to cover that you let me know in the comment section. And so let's start it. Uh, the first thing that I want to show you is the shopping. So things that I've bought recently, like this Arteza uh, gouache, uh, I was, uh, I'm using mostly watercolor for my art, but I want to try uh, gouache, so I do a lot of research on YouTube and Amazon and I find out that Arteza has uh, good reviews, so I try to buy them and I've tried during the weekend and I love them. They are really good color, they have good coverage, I really like to work with them, so I definitely recommend them if you want to try them out and I will put the link for the um, Amazon UK in the description box, so you can find everything in there because uh, I actually bought them from Amazon UK. And another thing that I bought, okay, here, uh, are these water brush, are uh, these brush for watercolor, actually, they are not water brush. Um, these are from uh, Low Cardinal, and these are the Soft Comfort. They have this super nice grip uh, that it's mainly uh, like rubber thing and it's super pleasant to hold and they really works well. I, uh, they arrived on Friday so I spent the weekend trying them and wash. I love them. And there are four sizes, it's like two, four, six and ten sides. Uh, so they're really nice and they has also come in this pouch so you can uh, use it even for storing them if you want to. And speaking by the Arteza that it's I haven't shown you my color chart, but it's something that I always do when I bought some new uh, color stuff because it's important for me to have a reference. And then I store them in here. This is an amazing pouch. This kind of pouch is the one that you are supposed to use for uh, makeup and this kind of stuff. And they are my preferred kind of pouch for storing art supplies because they are uh, waterproof. And usually even the cleaning material is something that you can clean easily. And so I like to store them here, uh, even my uh, watercolor and in here. This one is from AliExpress and I'll put the link in the description box. I bought this one to take TK Maxx, that if you are from the UK, you will probably know in the US is TJ Maxx. And I really love this. Uh, we'll find, I have found it even on Amazon, so I'll put the link in the description box. And this is an illustration of Cecily Mary Barker, uh, the, the fairy flower illustrator from the 18th century. So it's amazing. I mean, I really love this pouch. And some other things that I want to mention are this great acrylic color that I bought yesterday at the works. So if you are from the UK, it's really easy to find. And if you are from the US or other, other areas, I mean, there is probably Michaels and other uh, companies has very cheap acrylic that I want to use them because the great things about uh, uh, wash is the fact they are opaque so you can layer things for example on a colored background but since they are water based and they water react uh, you're going to reactivate every time uh, you add some additional colors so for my background I really want to be 
something that doesn't interact uh, in any way uh, with my pattern or whatever it's on top of it. So I decided to use acrylic since when they are dry, they are dry. <laughs> no way to reactivate them. So this is something I bought and this is just one pound. I have already used them, they are super good. Great coverage, dry fast, I really like them. And they have so many different colors. So it's a really good value for money. And another super cheap shopping <laughs> that I've made is this aquarel uh, watercolor paper. And this one it's from T uh, Tiger, so it's something super cheap. I bought it in Italy, it was five euros. I guess here it's probably five pounds or even less. These are 20 sheets, 300 grams, so it's a good uh, weight for a watercolor paper. It's a strange size though, it's 18 by 25 uh, centimeters, so I mean, I don't know which kind of measurements they are. Uh, the paper is strange, I mean, it seems like a bit, uh, it's like plasticky feel. I don't know how to say it, but I've tried with watercolor and it works perfectly fine. I will, I tried with markers like Copic markers and it works fine. And even with wash, it works fine. For my main work, artwork with watercolor, I will never use this kind of paper, but for since I'm experimenting with wash, I want something super cheap that can hold wet medium. So I tried this and I'm super happy with the result actually. And Reading, so I mean, I don't, I don't, I won't talk to you about uh, what I'm reading, like novels or this kind of stuff. But everything it's, I, I mean, uh, art related or uh, business related, this kind of stuff, or motivational things, organizational product, product productivity. Sorry, the my English is worse than ever. Uh, so I bought this book. Is if you are bored with watercolor, read this book by Veronica Ballard Lilia. It's a super fun book actually. There is a lot of mixed media techniques based on watercolor and there like even uh, watercolor techniques like with bleach, salt, uh, stencil, uh, resist techniques. So it's really nice. I haven't tried them out actually, but it's really inspiring. And I bought it from Amazon. Uh, the full price is £12.99. But when I bought it, it was like five, five pounds a couple of weeks ago. I have to check if the price is the same for five pounds it's a really great deal and I'm really in love with the country living specials turn your hobby into a business I've, I have bought the first two numbers in uh, the newspaper shop but this one that was the first one actually I wasn't able to find there so I ordered through, through the website of the Hearst magazine it was seven pounds 99 and they could seem really expensive for uh, a magazine but it's actually I think it's called like a books a book zine because it's mainly a book, much more than a, a magazine. And it's all about how you can turn your hobby into a business, actually. So if you are UK based, it's super helpful because it has a lot of advice about the uh, kind of uh, even the regulation, the law, the administration, the financial aspects of um, being uh, try to cre create your own business. But even if you are not from the UK, there is there are basically it's all different stories of women, the most, there are even some men, but the most are women, uh, how they have turned their passion into something that is profitable. And it's super inspiring. I mean, it's something that when you read it, their stories, you want to start a business right now. Uh, if you have some kind of passion, you want to find a way to make it into a business. And I think, and there is a lot of advice in all the three of them. The other two are £9.99. Um, really great advice how to manage your time how to find support networking and all this kind of stuff so even if you are not uh, able to apply the most uh, technical or uh, i don't know how to say but uh, related to the nation where you live uh, part uh, the rest is super inspiring anyway and the other book that i bought it's actually the country diet of an edwardian lady by edith alden and this is a, it's not a book that i'm planning to read actually but it's the diary of this lady uh, from the 19th century and it's super beautiful with all our sketches and her poems and her notes it's something that is inspiring for me and I, I bought it through Amazon UK and was like 50 pence so with two pound for shipment and when I bought it I thought okay probably it's a scam I'm not, I'm not going to uh, grab anything he said yeah it arrives it's perfect and it's because the edition is from 17, 1979, so probably just some leftovers or something that someone are just trying to dismiss, but it's super nice. So 
and it's a good deal I guess for the money <laughs> and then other things that I want to talk to you about it's scrapbooking so I need your help here because <laughs> I am super behind with my project life it's one I'm actually one year behind behind and the reason why I still keep accumulating delay is the fact that I always think that I need to record what I'm doing so even if sometimes I maybe had one hour that I can use for project life I thought oh no I, I don't have the time to set up everything and then I'm going to don't have the time to editing and do all the uh, uploading process so this is some kind of snowball I'm realizing that going this way I would never ever finish uh, my scrapbooking album from last year and from this year that it's I mean, I didn't have both the album yet, so <laughs> I'm super behind in any possible way. So, my thought is, and I would really love your feedback about this. I'm going, I'm planning a super major catch up. I have already did once in 2015, and I basically made an entire year album in one week. That week, I was actually on the couch, laying down, because my, my knee was destroyed, basically. So... It was easy, but during that week, I uh, understand how for me how I can work for work in batch and catch up. So I'm planning to do a video where I explain you all my tips and tricks and how I organize myself, like editing the picture and printing them and uh, prepare the layout in advance and then decide all the things, the embellishment, and then just create uh, a workflow that allows me to be very quick in the actual scrapbooking process. So I was thinking to do this video and then to work on my things, on my albums, so I don't have one week right now just to do that, but probably uh, it will take more, but I mean, in the end I will be able to do another video where I show you how actually my pages have turned out. So I'd really love if you let me know if it's something that could be interesting for you to see. I mean, otherwise I don't know how to, <laughs> how, how to, to move on with my project life. But something that I'm going to work with is this one. So this morning when I was planning this video, I checked on my YouTube channel and realized that last year I have recorded a video and I've never published on my channel. So I'm going to do this in a couple of days uh, from this video for, for sure. I mean, I have to. Uh, this is a traveling notebook. Uh, not notebook. <laughs> that is made with uh, some scrapbook paper, like five. Uh, these are five sheets. The original one had, had, had four and some pockets so it's going to be super fast because it took me like 10 minutes to make it and i'm planning to bring it with me on june the second where i'm going to go on the islands for a romantic getaway with my fiance and since uh, my plan uh, that's why it's so natural stuff themed my plan is to scrapbook on the go so i'm going to bring my life print uh, printer with me and it's the kind of printer like Instax, this kind of printer that prints this very small picture, like two by three inches, and just very, very basic stuff like the leftover of the paper, uh, the 12 by 12 inches paper that I've used for making the album, and some of the uh, Studio Calico, some other spare uh, stickers and this kind of stuff, and then this um, clear stamp alphabet from the works, it was one pound and fifty, so super good deal for me. Uh, plus probably some pens and some um, ink for my stamp and yeah I'm planning to try to make like um, some videos uh, where I scrapbook on the go I've done I mean as you can see I'm the worst even when I have to record videos in my own house so I'm not sure how this kind of stuff can turn out but I hope that will be nice and so I hope to share this with you and then other things that I want to talk to you about is studying. So I'm definitely studying uh, so much uh, gouache in this uh, period. So I'm putting some link in the description box because I'm following a lot of tutorials on YouTube. So maybe if you're interested, you can go and check them out. And then I'm studying something, a lot of classes on Skillshare. So I know that it may sound like I'm sponsoring Skillshare because I'm teaching there. Uh, yeah. I teach there so if you use my referral link to subscribe I receive a small amount of money so that makes me very happy but the main reason why I subscribed in the first place on Skillshare was not for teaching but for learning and I really love how 
many things you can learn at Skillshare. So my, this is my honest, I swear, my honest review about things. When I speak about Skillshare, there is no kind, I mean, I'm super honest. And I'm following a greeting cards uh, class and it's not about making greeting cards because I already make in mine, but it's about how to sell them, uh, not locally like I'm doing now with some a couple of shops in Italy, but uh, how to contact manufacturers that and actually print them and sell, and sell them in big stores all over the world. So it's a super uh, helpful classes, class and I'm really loving it. And I'm also doing some class on watercolor, like this one that is the actual one uh, that I followed for making the very easy and nice doodle in my May layout for the bullet journal. And then uh, things that I'm working on. So I've just published my last Skillshare class about the Paisley pattern, uh, how to create, there are all different techniques, very fun techniques, like with Q-tips or Sensil or Masking Fluid to uh, create some Paisley. And I really love it. And for the same project, I'm working on a second part of the class where I'm going to show you how I um, create pattern with my drawings. And then uh, I have already recorded another class that it's like cutie painting and it's super fun. So I think I will put one of the lessons for this class in the, on the channel. So if you are interested to see which kind of uh, things you, may, you can learn on my, <laughs> on my uh, Skillshare, a set of classes or even on Skillshare in general, it's, it's nice because you can see how a, class, a lesson is structured basically and you can learn something, <laughs> of course. And I'm planning to work on some cards for my next trip to Italy for some greeting cards because I'm going to go there so I can see actually my the two shops that holds my um, greeting cards. Uh, so I can, if they are interesting, I can bring directly uh, the cards there without shipping them. So I'm planning to do uh, some kind of uh, videos uh, while I draw them and put like some kind of sprint painting video. So if you are interested uh, even uh, in watching them or in having some kind of tutorials, because I'm going to show you just my watercolor part of them. And I'm going to work on wedding cards, uh, some birthday cards, and if I can, some confirmation coming to do, do confirmation I guess because uh, it's something that it's I mean in Italy we used to make gifts and this kind of stuff for this uh, celebration but I'm not so sure because I mean everything that I see in that kind of field they're basically looking like the same so I don't know if I can have an original idea or something so we will see and last but not least things that I love I'm really in love with this this is a things to do pad uh, from New Era. I bought mine at the uh, stationery shop of the university, so something very cheap. It was £1.80. Uh, there are 260 pages and it's amazing because there is the things to do today with the space for dates, number, task, deadline, uh, space for ticking out the things, notes with an empty space and a blank space and with a ruler, ruler space, and schedule with time, details, location and mileage. And this amazing i mean you can personalize it as you want so here for example i took out the things with uh, with the header with the washi tape and i put it in videos to record and i'm planning all the videos for my class uh, i'm doing this i'm i've turned um, apart some papers because there is the pre-punched thing so you can just take them off for like keeping tracks of all the things that i have to do for projects for each project that i'm working on so I'm really in love with it and I definitely recommend it. And another thing that I'm really in love with is my light box. So when I was a student, an art student like 10, 15 years ago, these were things that are bulky with the lamps, the bulb and everything. Now it's something super easy. I mean, this is LED light, so it's super thin. It's not heavy, it doesn't have even um, um, a button. I mean, you just, uh, put in here the uh, the cord that it's the same for the uh, Android phone and uh, on the opposite there is a USB uh, thing so you can plug into your computer or to uh, whatever you prefer like your phone battery charger whatever and it works perfectly fine it's an A4 size super bright and I really love it it's helped me so much with all my uh, project when I have to draw many times the same thing to so speed up the process 
Another thing that I want to mention is that I would like to make a video about three parts supply. So, supplies. So, I mean, these are the kind of supplies that are meant to be for students or for guys that want to try out new techniques for hobby, mixed media, even for scrapbooking, this kind of stuff. Uh, of course, if you are a professional artist, I, I, I don't even think about suggesting to buy cheap supplies. But since if you want to try out techniques, like for example, for me, there was no point in, I never tried use brush. So there was no point for me to just buy the Winsor Newton designer wash line that it's like seven pounds per tube when I can buy for 17, 24 color. Uh, I prefer to try like this, see that if the techniques is something that I really like and then otherwise move uh, to improve my quality, the quality of my supplies, then rather start spending money without knowing if it's something that I would enjoy to practice or not. So let me know if this kind of video could be interesting because I have found a lot of several cheap materials that works really well, but it takes me a while to find them. So probably would speed up the process for you. Uh, so just let me know. And I want to, and I want just to say that the reason why I'm asking you all these questions is basically that I know that my channel is based on uh, project life and uh, planner stuff. But for me, I mean, in this moment, I'm not doing any kind of scrapbooking uh, work of any sort. And I mean, for bullet journal, more than one video per month, I don't see very much the point of doing them. So more than what I'm already making. So, but I really love, I, I make so many things. And I think there are things that could probably be nice for someone to know, because I love, I watch a lot of art videos and I uh, really enjoy them. So uh, probably uh, there is, so probably it could be interesting for you as well and I can save you a little bit of research. And that's it. I hope that you enjoyed the video and please comment, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you think and I hope to see you soon. Bye!